Hi developers, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil, and this is the twelfth part for React, Redux, and Java tutorial series. And here I'll tell you that how we can set up the JSON server. You might have question that what is the JSON server? Why we need it? I'll tell you everything. But first of all, let's go through the points of this video. So I'll tell you that uh, why we need JSON server, how we can install it, how we can add some data to it so that we can convert uh, this data to the API and uh, uh, then we'll test this API with the postman and uh, at the last we will cover some interview questions also. So uh, maybe you already got the 50% answer that why we need JSON server for APIs. So why we need API C? Uh, here we are creating a series for React, Redux and Saga and where we need to use Saga when we have async operations or APIs, right? So that's why we need API. So you can make this API in the any other programming language also, like uh, you can make APIs with a Node or uh, Python, Java, PHP, with any other uh, uh, server-side programming language. There's a, there is no issue. But it will take lots of time. But with the help of JSON server, you can create APIs within a moment. Second thing, so let's say you are not aware b with these programming languages uh, like Java or any other uh, backend programming language. That means you cannot create APIs. So how you will just complete your project? In that scenarios, uh, JSON server APIs are actually best choice. You can set up them within a minimal time and there is a no chance of error if you just, just uh, keep in mind that's just some uh, points. And you can just perform all kind of methods like uh, put method, post method, delete method, patch method, get get method. Everything we can uh, do with the uh, JSON server. Then you may have a question that then why we cannot always create the APIs in the JSON server? Why we need backend programming language? Because JSON server cannot connect with the database. So you can say that this is for just testing purpose or when we just want to make fake APIs with a static data. That time this is a useful, but uh, in a production or uh, if you want to compare it with the programming language, then that of absolutely this is not the right choice. So now let's see how we can uh, install that JSON server. So just Google uh, JSON type code and let's jump on a first link. Here you will find by the powered by JSON server and you can go to the first link. Right? Or you can directly just go to this uh, GitHub repository, it's totally up to you. And here is the complete documentation of it. And you just need to learn two commands. And uh, just you have to know that how actually we can add JSON data for APIs. And that is fair enough to start with a JSON server. So this is the command npm install minus g JSON server. That command will help you to install uh, JSON server in your system. And keep in mind, you can install it in any folder in any location of your system but don't forget to put here minus g minus g always install your package globally in your system so that you can access that package from anywhere from any folder of your system right so let me put here npm install minus g that means global and json server and hit that enter uh, sometime it will just ask that how you can install a package globally in your system that time you can say that with the help of uh, minus G in your npm install command so I guess I just misspell this server spelling and mm, here we go yep that is working all right, so after installing it, you can just jump on any, any other folder and you can just create a file uh, with the extension of .json. Here you can see that they created the file with the db.json is example. You can put the same name also, even you can use the another name also, there is a, no matter. So this is installed, we can just close this command. I'm going to inside the reactute folder because it, here I'm putting the old stuff related to the react.js. So I'm creating a new folder, let's say db. And let me open this db with the VS code. So let me put here code dot. And here you can create any file. So I am putting here my file name, same as they mentioned, db.js. And here you can put the data and that data will be work like a uh, 
uh, API. How? I'll tell you. So just start with the object and now put your API name. So let's say I want to create an API for products. That's all. And uh, now let's create a array so that you can just make a collection of uh, your products and now take again a object and inside object just start typing your product details like id is one and uh, name we can put there so let's say name is samsung m40 you can put any another name also and uh, color so let's say color is black That is my favorite color and uh, price let's say price is it could be also a numeric value and category you can put here mobile or electronics I prefer mobile and uh, brand so let me put here brand name is Samsung and let's add here one image also so i'm just taking taking image from internet let's say any dummy product or something you can just in uh, if you want then you can this put these images on your local machine also but to save the time i am just uh, getting the url from there and now let's uh, put here photo and here is the url so with the same way i am just adding some more products here three or four products so here i added the four products you can see that first one is mobile second one is also mobile third one is t-shirt and shoes so let me just um, add this capital first capital letter right okay whatever so now you can use it like a api right so even you can add uh, more products we just you can see that add the four static product even you can add with the APIs also with the uh, post method but that is the uh, upcoming part I will tell you in the up upcoming video so uh, for a moment that uh, these details are fair enough alright so now let's see that how we can run it so there is a simple command for run it json server minus minus watch and your file name so let's say your file name is database.json then put here database.json don't stick with the db.json so let me do the same thing here and uh, let's run here mm, json server minus minus watch and db dot json and okay i have to put here slash sorry hyphen so now you can see that this is running on a 3000 port but you may have a question that on a same port react is also running so how can the both thing will run on the same port your connection your question uh, is right actually so let's check that this is working fine or not and these are the products if I just click over there, you can see that this is working fine, right? So this is a simple and uh, simplest get API. So let's test it with the uh, with the postman. Okay, let me just test it with the postman after that. But first of all, let's check that how we can just run it on another port. So you can simply put here minus minus port or hyphen hyphen port three five zero zero. You can use any other port also which is available in your system now you will find that this is not working on that port this is just not working right and uh, if you just run it on the uh, 3500 port this is still working fine so with that command you can just change the port now let's see how we can run it on the postman just just select your method that you want to just perform and let's put a, a pass here a path here you can see that status and here is the uh, api data you can see that so this is working fine and uh, in upcoming part of react dux and saga we will integrate it with the uh, saga so that's all and please keep supporting me uh, and uh, like my video please share uh, these videos and 
provide your valuable feedbacks in comment and please subscribe also thank you so much for watching this video